and welcome uh, to today's virtual card and a cuppa with me, Fiona Witten. Um, I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator based in Wokingham in the UK. Um, and today I have a kit to share with you. Um, three cards that were made and went to the in-person event this morning. And then I will be making the fourth one live. Uh, just bear with me two seconds whilst I double check that this is actually going out. I can never tell about these. Oops, no, that's not what I wanted. Let's see now. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, by the looks of it, I am. So that's good news. That's what we want. So, right, okay. So this is the kit. Um... Uh, and for those of you who are not familiar with my card and the cuppers, um, the, we have two events a month. Uh, first Wednesday, third Wednesday of the month. And then that's for the in-person. And then in the afternoon, I go live using the same kit again. Um, because of stamping up policy, I cannot uh, send any stamped images. So I'm always very careful to make sure that kits are made up of uh, cardstock, paper, ribbons, um, die cuts, punch shapes, whatever. Um, and then people can then add whatever sentiment that they have uh, that they think is suitable for, for what they want. Obviously, for those who um, come to the live event, I take all my stamps and things with me, along with the ink and various other bits and pieces. So this is the kit that um, was used this morning. And I'll just talk you through it briefly. So there is the usual um, envelope. There is a thick, basic white card base. So this is half a sheet of A4, the other half being over here. It would have been over here. So they get the card base. There is a panel of basic black that's been cut to fit neatly onto the, the card front. Then there is a piece of the Winter Meadow paper. Now, I went for the one that has the deers on, so it doesn't show very well in the catalogue. And sadly, I don't actually have any of this left. So this is the catalogue and this is the Winter Meadow paper. So it's 12 by 12. And what you'll find is that there's a scene going all the way across the bottom and then that's replicated, obviously, upside down, all across the top. So by cutting it in half, and then you can cut it into thirds, you can get six cards out of each um, 12 by 12 sheet. So basically, this is what this is. It does mean that you'll have um, the deer in various different places on the card, because they're not. It's, this image is not exactly duplicated um, and you'll see in the cards that I've, I've made that um, how they how it all goes together there is uh, a this is a die cut piece using the Christmas classics which is also the stamp set that um, I used for all of the cards um, and this is the bundle so it's got the Christmas I keep my dies inside so this is the Christmas classic dies uh, and I just use this simple square uh, which as you can see that's it's got like the corners cut off works very well with this very intricate die and then we've got other things with which you can use for longer longer sentiments rather than square sentiments so that's the stamp set and the die that i use and then there's also two pieces of the uh let's see silver and white um, ribbon so this is um, you can see can see through it. it ties really nicely having said that um, I know people aren't always um, keen on doing bows and things like that so the reason I cut two pieces will be apparent in a second so that was the kit and I know you guys always like to see what I made so this was the first card that I made. Um, and I always call the first one the let's throw everything at it. So basically it has everything on there. So it has the base card, the piece of basic black, 
full piece of the paper. This is what I was saying about the deers are diff in different places depending on how you cut it. So here, this one's sort of going off, but that's okay. I, I quite like that effect. These are the two pieces of ribbon. So what I did was I um, just wrapped it around uh, vertically. And then the second piece I just used to tie a knot. And um, that way it's, it's a cheat, but you know what? It gives you a really nice, neat effect rather than trying to have a longer piece and tying it around and then trying to get your knot and getting it to go wherever you want to. And the nice thing about this is obviously because it's a knot that's on there, you can actually move it up and down to wherever it is that you want it. I kind of like mine there. So, so that was that. Um, it has some, the piece on earth, which is, come, as I said, comes from the Christmas classic. So that was simply stamped in memento, the, the tuxedo black, um, added a few rhinestones. And then on the inside, I decorated again, just in black and used this, this lined one here. And also this little corner one here. So the corner's in the corner, and then I've just simply stamped the longer ones here. So that was the first one. Second one, I thought, okay, well, we'll go, we'll go landscape rather than portrait. Um, the only issue with that is that you can't just simply turn the paper around. So I simply cut the paper so that it was a square. So this is a nine, nine and a half centimeter square, uh, simply because the card, base card is 10 and a half by 14.9. The basic black is 10 by 14.4. So half half centimeter smaller than 10 is nine and a half. So this is nine and a half by nine and a half. And I just very carefully, because um, I had it was basically the width of that and I just cut it so that it was then simply um, I took all of the scenery rather than cutting his feet off and having a bit more of the trees in. Um, so and it, again you can play around with this um, with the paper because you can decide wh which bit that you want to. I mean I could have cut this smaller. Um, it's, it's quite simple. So the um, the Merry Christmas is actually made up of two stamps from the stamp set. Um, the, one of the reasons I like this set is that because you have these um, sentiments here that you can put with Christmas. So you can have Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, Christmas wishes. Um, and obviously if in, in, the Mer in America, then you would have Happy Holidays or um, um, so I simply um, put those onto one block and stamped them together. Added some rhinestones and again, this time I only decorated along the bottom. So there's the, the little corner one and then that's the longer piece. So it's that and that. So that was that card. The third card, um, and everyone knows me, I like, I like chopping up bits. Um, so I simply took half a centimetre off the um, the width of the paper. So instead of it being uh, nine and a half, I cut a bit so it was only nine. And then I just cut it into three. Um, didn't even try to get them equal. Um, so I simply just cut one piece. Uh, I think it was like two and a bit. Uh, let's see. Oh, was it three? Um, turned it around and cut another three centimetre panel, which meant that the inner panel was slightly wider. And uh, again, wrapped the ribbon around, tied the other piece around and just tied it in a knot. I didn't bother with um, a sentiment on the front. In fact, I don't think I even, no, I didn't even put a sentiment on the inside either. But hey. So just, just by combining the paper and the stamp set, this stamp set, um, and the fact that you can make up your own sentiments, um, it makes things so simple. So those were the three cards that I made and that went this morning. i just bring back in the items that I've got. Now, I actually quite like this season's greetings 
sentiment, but it's it's long. It's too long to fit on here, but I am going to use it. Now, I know and I have seen um, some people actually cut, heaven forbid, their um, some of their stamps that have two words on in half and split them. But I'm not going to do that. I kind of like keeping mine as they were. But I do know that seasons will fit on there. And I do know that greetings will fit on there. So what I'm going to do. Now you can if you're not sure about, about this. Just simply block out each. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Each word. Um, using some washi tape. Or you could be brave. Which is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, let's see, which word do I want to put on first? I think I might put the greetings on. And just because it's photopolymer, you can actually see where you need to put the ink. So you can just simply ink up the centre bit, one half of the sentiment that you want. So I have just inked up greetings. And I just realised I needed to have something underneath this. So I'm just going to use a catalogue because that has a little bit of give. Being photopolymer, you need, need something with a little bit of give on it just to make sure that you um, get a good impression. Let's put a bit more in. So, let's see. So I'm going to put my greetings... I think I'm going to put it there. Hopefully this is straight. Now, what you do need to do is clean off your stamp before you ink up the other word. Um, now, I totally forgot to bring my stamp cleaner over. I've been tidying it. Well, I'll say tidying. I've been redoing my craft room in the hope that I can have dedicated spaces for things rather than um, spending all my time moving things around. So I, while I kind of cleaned the retic that first bit with my fingers, probably not the wisest of thing, but at least it, I know it will come out when I'm washing my hands, so I'm not too, too worried. And I want to put my seasons up here. Uh, I might find now that I've actually put it too, too low, but hey, Let's see. That's actually not too bad. So that's my sentiment. So you can, as I said, you can put longer sentiments into smaller areas just by simply um, stamping and um, inking up the bits that you want rather than simply um, doing the whole thing. Now, I'm go I am going to do a little bit of cutting. And I know... I had my trimmer here, she says. Just bear with me two seconds, because that's the one thing I cannot do without. So, one trimmer. Now, I know that is uh, nine and a half. And I'm going to cut it so that it's actually eight. So I'm going to take off, uh, let's see, eight and a half. Yep, I'm going to take off that bit there. This is what I was saying earlier about the fact that you can just trim bits off to make things by taking things off. I'm just being careful and sort of planning it. So I've got my deer, that's now eight centimetres wide and I think I'm just going to go eight centimeters tall like so and then I'm also going to cut my basic black so that it is I'm going to cut it so it's I could do it 10 by 10 let's do that to start off with and see how it looks I don't think it's what I want because it will give a, quite a large border around it Kind of like a, a photograph. But, so I think I'm going to go 
that was 10. I think I might go nine by nine. So I do have a fairly large border around it, but not an absolutely huge one. So that's better. Like so. And that's all the cutting that I'm going to do for the time being. Now, do I want to put some ribbon on here? Or I could just put it on the sentiment. Actually, I might even cut that. Let's just see how this looks. So if I put that up there, could put... That's not really going to work, I don't think. I think that's going to have to go... This is where you kind of have to start thinking about things. Heaven forbid. So that's going to go there. I don't quite like it there. But what I can do is I could cut this down. Put it on there. It's the beauty of making cards and things. So you can do really whatever you want to do. Actually, that's quite nice. I don't think it's nice that way, but I do quite like it that way. It's a bit different. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's glue those two together. So I'm just going to glue the paper to the, um, the basic black. So I'm just using Tombow because I can then move things around if I don't get it completely straight, which I don't often do that first time. So if we put that there, and that maybe needs to go up a bit. Or let's see. Let me just tie that in a, in a knot around that. It's usually a lot easier to do when it's fixed it down, but hey, I'm willing to give it a go. Right, there's the knot. And I could go have it going across, or I could have it actually, no, it's quite sweet like that. That's what I'm going to do. So I will use my ribbons after all. But I'm going to take this piece off first and just fix these on here. So um, don't do what I did this morning, uh, which was forget to put in some tear tape or some blue dots into um, the bags. I didn't actually get to go to card in the cupper this morning um, because my boiler decided it was going to give up the ghost for some reason, don't know why, just decided that overnight that it didn't want to work anymore. Um, I wouldn't care, but I actually had it serviced yesterday, so that was a bit of a pain. But hey, it did come out pretty quick and fix it. And uh, I still don't actually know really what went wrong, other than there was a switch that got turned when it shouldn't have been turned off. So, but anyway, I've got I've got heating and hot water again, so that's the main thing. Fix that around there. I've probably gone to town a bit too much with the old tear tape, but hey, I've got a little bit here left there. Don't need all of that on there, and I probably could get away with just um, let's put this on here first. Now I'm still going to put that sentiment on. I'm just going to put this on with some dimensionals. And it's always good just to like double make sure that the um, ribbon's not going to go walkabouts. So if you use a few dimensionals just to stick it down as well, um, that will end 
ensure it decides if it, it's not going to unravel. I don't need to put dimensionals everywhere on this. I know, I know there are a few people who like doing that, but I'm not going to. Right, so I could actually turn this to. Maybe that's what I should do. Or is that going to be too much like the other one? I guess it is really. Oh, no. Because that was all black. So let's let's go some go. Change my mind yet again. I'm obviously having a very decisive day today, not. But hey, I should make sure that's the right way round as well. Just realised didn't didn't check that before I put it on. Oops. Um, I've just dropped a bit of ribbon, but I have some more here. I'll get that in a second. There we go. So there's that. As I said, you can move this up and down to your heart's content as to how you want it. And then obviously trim it how you want that as well. What's that? There we go. So now I've got a season's greetings here. So I could just put that on there like that some more dimensionals or we could put it on there like that which is actually quite nice as well I think that's what I'm going to do so I'll see roughly how how much space I've got so I probably want it to go from there so about five and a half centimeters if I cut it too long it doesn't matter because I can always shorten it. If I cut it too short, then we've got a problem because it's not so easy to um, make it bigger other than going to cut a completely new diff new piece, which I don't really want to do. So we've only got, oh, well, see, did I actually do it? Well, that was kind of the length I wanted, but it's kind of obviously pretty pointless using that. So let's forget that idea. Ho hum. So let's just simply use that and put it on with some dimensionals. Now, you want to be sure that you are not putting dimensionals on the side that's going to overlap the, um, the paper. Uh, otherwise, this is going to be so tall, um, putting in the post is going to be very costly. So that's that and then I can put a little bit of glue on this side very carefully I don't want it to squidge out over the picture so I'll do that and let's see if we can kind of get it halfway I'm trying to sort of get an edge this side so that it's similar to that side uh, it's also similar top and bottom, which it's not, but hey. So that's not going to go anywhere, which is good. And then I need some rhinestones. I always tell people, don't think too much about where you're putting them. Just simply put them on. Um, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. And I always like to put an, an odd number on. Someone actually sent me a message the other day saying, why do you put an odd number on? And apparently, um, odd numbers sort of draw your eye to something. So, um, whereas if you put an even number on, your sort of eye starts to wander all over the place. So that's the reason for putting an odd number of things on. Um, it just draws your eyes to the actual space. 
So that's that. And then I guess I should quickly do the inside. I probably should have done it earlier. But hey, and cherries are really not that um, appropriate. So oh, I say cherries, they're actually berries rather than cherries. I'm just going to keep this simple by just putting one in the corner, one in the corner on the bottom. Could put one here, but that kind of makes it a little bit too complicated. So there's that one. And then I'm going to do this one. I'm going to put that one in there. And then I'm going to get this and that longer one. Ink it up, try and get it so that it's sort of level with those these end ones here that are kind of well, obviously gone on, gone on in, but hey, I'm gonna leave that. So that is my fourth card again, simple. So I've just got stamps, ink and paper, really. And obviously this bit's die cut, but you could just cut that out yourself simply by using a trimmer. So that's that one. So that was today's card, or this afternoon's card, I should say. And then I need to find the others. one there put that one there and that one there so hopefully you can see all of those so those are the four cards so this is the one that I've just made and then these three here are the ones that went with um, to the card in the cup this morning so just made and then these three are the ones as I said from card in the cup this morning so I hope you've enjoyed watching that. Um, if you've got any questions, please uh, leave a comment. This will go up onto YouTube later in the week and photos of all the cards will go on here onto Facebook. Um, hopefully um, tomorrow morning. Um, things to tell you about for this month. Uh, so there's a new kit in the kit collection starting today. And then next week, there are some new items going in the online exclusives on the, uh, the 7th. Uh, and I think that's about it for now. So um, have a good week. Next week, stamping and creating. So I hope to see you here at 2.30. And um, have a good week. Take care. Bye.